In these times of Final Fantasy VII Remake releasing, I'm instead going to go back to what you know I consider the better game, Final Fantasy VI, and compare the Japanese script to Ted Woolsey's localization, at least the first 4-5 to five minutes or so. Not that I'm really in a position to critique the work of a professional translator, but still. After the amazing purple lightning and fiery title, the intro begins. And the Japanese intro is the same as the back of the box. There's not any big discrepancies to speak of, but I want to mention that the War of the Magi in Japanese, Mataisen, sounds just like the name of a Dutch football player. And maybe I guess I would have changed Dread here to Dreaded in the English version? In the very first text box, the Japanese version clarifies something for me by saying that the Esper was frozen in the war a thousand years ago. Then Vix, instead of wondering if it's still alive, wonders if their information is solid, to which Wedge replies that it is. About the frying of 50 soldiers by Terra, the Japanese version just adds a simple osoroshi at the end, meaning terrifying. Then they head into the town as usual in that beautiful intro, which I'll skip now for time. Sorry. When they get to Narshi, or Narsh or Narshi, or whatever, in the Japanese version, one of the soldiers says to not worry about the small fry, instead of the no sense in taking any risks bit. Anyway, in they go, killing some guards and lobos in the process. Here I would like to address one bit of standing criticism to Ted's work, that the soldiers are named Vix and Wedge instead of Bigs and Wedge. However, as you can see in the Japanese, he's not actually named Bigusu, but Bikusu. And B a lot of times is V in Japanese, so Ted did nothing wrong. The Japanese people forgot the Handakten on the Ku. Either Ted didn't get the Star Wars reference, or he was just too loyal to change it. But Vix is not actually a mistake. After that, there's not much to mention, but Welk is named Yumiru in Japanese, and I have no idea what that is supposed to mean. The battle dialogue is accurate. Welk says Gugogogogogo instead of Gru, but they're both nonsense anyway, so who cares. After his defeat, you get a potion in the English version and a high potion in Japanese. That's because for whatever reason, Ted renamed potion to tonic and high potion to potion. When they meet Tritok, there's one text box which I think comes across a bit weird in the English one, when the Japanese one just says kind of, something's wrong, something's creepy. The rest of it is very close, except for the Japanese version adding a line of Vic saying, my, my body, just before dying, which I kind of liked. Then Terra wakes up at Arvis's house, although he's always just Rodin or old man in the Japanese version. I prefer him to have a name though, so thank you Ted. Otherwise it's very accurate up to after you name Terra, and I changed it from the Japanese default of Tina back to Terra by the way, because that's what I'm used to and therefore correct. Here in the Japanese, Arvis says that Terra has a strong mind rather than recovering quickly, although it's implicitly the same thing. There will be more of those times when both are the same yet slightly different. Then the guards knock on the door and demand the girl be handed over, though she's not an officer in Japanese but more like an underling of the Empire. When Arvis says that he doesn't have time to explain, in Japanese he says that they, meaning the guards, are not going to listen to his explanations. Terra escapes out the back and heads into the mines, where she finds a phoenix down. Now instead of focusing on the rather well-known fact that phoenix isn't spelled like that, I'd like to question the Japanese here instead. When you use the item in battle, you can clearly see that those are feathers, yet it's phoenix no o, not phoenix no hane. O means tail, so why? Maybe they meant tail feathers? I don't know. While we're on bestiary stuff, just one quick aside here that Vaporite and Repo Man are called Spritzer and Highway in Japanese. Terra is then surrounded by the guards, falls through the floor as if she was Laura Croft or something, and falls unconscious. After a quick flashback, of course. Here we see Kefka putting on the slave crown. Here Ted puts a little more personality into the English than I think the Japanese did. And for me personally, I like this bit of we'd practically own you, because Final Fantasy VI was the first RPG I played, then after I got stuck at Mount Colts, I started playing Super Mario RPG instead, wherein the sword Exor says a very similar line, which lo and behold, Ted Woolsey also worked on. Ted Deception. Gestalt's little Nazi meeting is interesting too. Whereas the English version has the Empire on the brink of a breakthrough, in the Japanese version they've already resurrected magic. He says they're going to rule the world, and the soldiers enthusiastically shout Banzai. Wait, Banzai? I thought Banzai was like the most Japanese word ever. Are they trying to make Gestal look like Hirohiro or something? But he's the bad guy? Nah, probably not. Besides, Banzai comes from the kanjis 10,000 and year, meaning eternity, kind of. So long live Emperor Gestal should be accurate. Good going, Ted. Cut back to Arvis' house where we met Locke. The difference here is that Arvis asks him if he's quit being a thief, basically. 
Ashi o arao is the Japanese equivalent of washing your hands of something. Lok then reacts the same way in both versions, and I name him Lokke instead of Lok, because that's how my Swedish ass has referred to him for years. The conversation after goes like you'd expect, up until the line about the witch. Here Ted put in a little stronger wording which shows Loki's anger towards the Empire, which isn't really in the Japanese. Then we come to a series of boxes where the meaning is more different, the most so far. First, Arvis says that Narsha is no match for the Empire, when in the Japanese he says that they are. They hold a special strength to stand up to them, but due to their high degree of self-governance, aka independence, they're not gonna join the Returners. Then Arvis seems to say that Terra won't listen to him? Terra hasn't shown any standoffishness yet, so that seems a bit random. In the end though, the result is the same. They need Terra to join in their fight against the Empire. After that, Locke agrees to help, goes to where Terra fell down, but is found by the guards. Kupo! Moogles to the rescue! In the English version, the Moogles names, except Mog, all come from the word Kupo pretty much, like Kushu, Kurin, Kuru and Kamog, just to break the rule there. Where in the Japanese version, Mo is the common denominator. It makes Mog's name stand out more in the English version, but either one is fine by me. The following conversation between Loki and Terra is very close, but the line about remembering where the switch is to leave the cave is not in the Japanese version. Then Loki does this pose where I think he's trying to cheer Terra up, but I've always pictured it as him going "Hey!" like the fawns. Then they leave the caves. If you try to go back into Narshi, the guard will spot you, and I think the English version gives off a slightly bigger feeling of urgency to get to Figaro than the Japanese version does. So. Off they go. They arrive at Figaro Castle, head in and talk to King Edgar. He looks Terra up and down and walks away, then gives the finger, smoothing over the situation. After the introduction screen, the Japanese version forgets a period but is otherwise the same, all the way up to when Edgar tries to dodge the question about Terra's abilities. Japanese Edgar doesn't say he's going to give three reasons up front, but still gives three. And the second one differs ever so slightly by saying he's curious about knowing what Terra's type is. On the other hand, I think it's a super small difference. And her abilities in the Japanese just come after, not specifically at number 3. Then when Terra reflects on Edgar's advances and her reaction to that, the Japanese version puts it slightly more vague. But I think I prefer Ted's version here. Now, when talking to the woman at the Inn Castle Hotel place, the English version makes it come off as though Edgar is a wannabe ladies man, and it's fun. The Japanese version, however, says that Edgar would pick up or seduce any woman, from old to children. Uh-oh. But wait. In the matron's room where the little girl is, she says that Edgar said he'd marry her when she grew up. Which I'm happy to say is also in the Japanese version. So Edgar is not a pedophile then. Good. The matron, who in Japanese is a high priestess for some reason, talks about Nash, aka Sabin. I prefer Sabin. Not Sabin by the way, but Sabin. The dialogue in the flashback is one to one, but the introduction screen in Japanese says that he left the castle. Nothing about him looking like his father. Which is a bit weird in English, because Edgar and Sabin are twins, they should both look like their father. Terra then talks to Edgar again in the throne room and then... Kefka. When we meet Kefka, he insults Edgar's castle in the Japanese version, and I like how the soldiers report that the shoes are clean instead of just going, yes sir. Then when Kefka enters the castle, rudely so, there's one dialogue box cut if you talk to the left soldier. And then another different but same translation when the right soldier says that it's not for you to know instead of that's for us to know. As for Kefka, the conversation is close, but in Japanese he never says that she stole anything. Edgar's analogy about sand for women is more fitting since they're in the desert. In Japanese he says there's as many girls as there are stars in the sky, that type of thing. Kefka then leaves with the same passive aggressive warning, and Locke just says that he doesn't like Kefka in Japanese. When Lox brought Terra to her room, in Japanese he uses a word I've never come across yet to say basically that he's sorry for making her worry. He again has to defend against the thief accusation, but the Dayo of Japanese doesn't seem quite as strong as the full capitalization of the English version. He then says that Edgar wants to join the Returners instead of already being with them, oddly. The rest is the same until a slight deviation where in the Japanese version Lox says Terra was a soldier of the Empire instead of denying it altogether. Also, Terra in Japanese adds that her head hurts. Finally, Terra's last line is also different. They all go to sleep, and Edgar awakens to the smell of smoke, I assume. He hurries outside, and there's Kefka, of course, having set fire to the castle. Now, when you talk to either soldier here, you get a nice Beavis and Butthead reference in the English version, but the Japanese soldiers just very bluntly tell you to burn to death. Steady on, lads. Likewise, Kefka's line is funnier in English and more serious in Japanese. 
Edgar tells the guard to prepare for that. And here, maybe Ted was very tempted to make a NOT line, but he doesn't go for it in the end, which I'm grateful for. Although it is in the same vein. English Kafka shames Edgar for leaving his people behind, but Japanese Kafka just laments a king running away on his own. Again, kind of the same thing. But of course, he gathers Locke and Terra as well, and gives the order to submerge. The Japanese Chancellor has a poetic streak, which he shows off before taking shelter. A very angry Kafka orders his Magitek soldiers to get, or kill, them, but luckily they are weak sauce compared to the Magitek that were rideable in the opening. Now for one of the best scenes in the game. It's really quite similar over both versions, with the same kind of stammer and stuff. Though of course magic makes five letters when Maho uses three kana. When they whisper, we see the Japanese whisper onomatopoeia, or however you say that word, hiso hiso. Which I think is funny because the word hisoka means secret, but does that word come from the sound or the other way around? I don't know. Anyway, Edgar says what was that instead of where she learned it. Then it's the same again, including the wink. Now I record this on emulator, where the top of their heads fly off when they're swooning for some reason, but when playing on a real system they just disappear behind the message box. The Japanese here actually does mean swoon, but just swoon, nobody's telling them to stop doing it. Bravo Figaro is literally the same. Then comes Kefka's immortal line about submariners and the sons thereof. Metal Gear Solid 2, sons of submariners. In Japanese he simply says shit, and then the other part. The following conversation on Kokobo back is mostly the same. Then Edgar's line about there not being any humans who can use magic in Japanese is a little more straightforward, but I can't decide if the English version has him saying it with more tact or less. Edgar's following line about the Empire chasing Terra is slightly expanded in Japanese. After that it's the same, but spread out over more text boxes in the English version. In both versions, Edgar thinks Terra agreed with her without saying anything really. But then, in Japanese, he says that there should be a cave leading to South Figaro, when in English, it's certain. So, they go to the cave, and Edgar gives the guard here more information in Japanese than in English, and doesn't tell the guard to tell the people that they're safe, I think rather to give the information where they're headed. And that's it for now. Into the cave, they go. 